Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with some bite-sized news. Today is July 31st, 2024. Cats are miraculous, so much so that even their poo might just save the human race. Not seriously, but seriously. A parasite in cat feces called Taxoplasma gondii does some amazing things. And if you ever want to have a trippy day, just read up on their life cycle. Anyhow, this parasite has a great ability. It can mess with the brains of mice and humans. No joke. The brain is a membrane surrounding it that disallows many things to get through. This is often referred to as the blood-brain barrier, and it's necessary for a lot of the defense our brain has from random diseases. However, it also stops many medicines from getting to the cells it would need for things like helping with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or other brain-specific diseases. This is where Taxoplasma Gandhi steps in. Since it's so good at messing with people's minds, scientists have figured out a way to engineer it so it delivers good protein straight into the brains of mice, defeating the defense of the blood-brain barrier and becoming a delivery medicine, delivery method for medicine. It's a long way, though, away from human trials, but the fact that it was figured out and works at all is just fucking amazing. Robert Kelly Ortberg seems to have fallen out of the sky to replace David Calhoun as CEO of Boeing, pun intended. After so many failures, Robert O. said, There is much work to be done and I am looking forward to getting started. So would I. Basically, there is no way this new CEO can fail. They just need to have one day where a plane doesn't crash or seriously malfunction and it'll be up an up year for Boeing. Well, Robert, looks like the sky is the limit for you. Please, please make it the limit where you actually get planes to fly in it. That's where they belong. That's why God gave them wings. And Trump broke into the news cycle after about a week long of Harris, Harris, Harris cycle. And to, the, to his dismay, the news is still pretty much about Harris, more or less. It's also how he called a black journalist rude and nasty, awkwardly talked about Harris as identifying as Indian and then black, and otherwise had a pretty embarrassing day. So much so, other Republican officials also gave him some crap about it. And they haven't shown that much backbone since they invaded women's choices about their bodies with the big ol' arm of government.